When it comes to style, you've got three basic archetypes. You've got rugged, refined, and rakish. Now the way that these work is they're dependent on the way that you interact with the world around you. And what's really fun about this is you're not all one type or the other. Now look at this guy, Jack Donovan, right here, okay? He's speaking to us tomorrow. I had a great time getting to talk with him last night. Jack epitomizes the rugged archetype. He does things with his hands. He lifts heavy weights. He builds buildings like he homesteads. He does stuff physically. He exists in a physical world. Tell me that he does not care about his style. You don't look like this on accident. That is not average, right? Jack absolutely cares. Each one of those patches, it means something. That cut that he's wearing on, he had to earn that. He had to go through initiation rites and go through other things in order to actually be able to earn the right to wear that and represent the group that that belongs to. That is style, but it's not suiting. And if you were to see Jack up here presenting tomorrow in a suit, talk about incongruence and inauth inauthenticity because that's not the story of who he is. This is my buddy Derek. He runs a company that I used to work for called Beckett and Rob, and these men very much fit within the refined archetype. Now, if you fall within the refined, basically, rather than dealing with the world physically, you are someone who fits within the world within social networks or finances or your actions. You're a rule follower. You like traditionalism. This is, this is my primary archetype. I'm more refined than anything else. I, I like rules. I like structure. I like civilization. I like those things. And this is a demonstration of status and accomplishment and all these other things that come through that. And now, in the 21st century, as it's been for the last 100 years within the West, this is typified by a suit. Doesn't mean it always will be. Doesn't mean it always was. You look at people like George Washington. He was refined. He would not be wearing something like this, right? Those archetypes can continue throughout different cultures. Genghis Khan, you know, like, still cared about what he wore, in fact, one of the things that's interesting about Khan is that as he became a bigger conqueror, he and his people stopped wearing coats made out of the skins of field mice and actually started embracing some of the gold and silver and these other things, these fine robes of these civilizations that we conquered. And there was a schism that came from that because it was a way for them to demonstrate that they were getting soft and they were losing their barbarian virtues all over things like clothing and, and status displays. And then over here we've got Kanye West's the personification of the rakish archetype. Now, if you fit within the rakish archetype, the way that you primarily interact with the world is by giving it the middle finger. You don't like to follow the rules. You're a rebel. You like to be an iconoclast. You like to go against the grain. And so one of the ways that you can leverage that is by dressing in a way that polarizes. A lot of people do not like the way that Kanye West dress. But whether you like it or not, the man is a kingmaker. He can wear a pair of shoes to an event, and all of a sudden they are completely off the shelves for weeks, and then they're being resold on market. I mean, his Yeezy line that he sells with, uh, with Adidas, they sell for about 350 bucks, and whenever they do a new drop, they sell out within a matter of seconds, and then you have to rebuy them from resellers for thousands of dollars on these different markets just because he's been able to build that hype, and he does that because he's such a rebel. Now, what works for you guys is that you're not all one of any of these. We all have components. So I'm primarily ra uh, refined with a little bit of rakish and then a small dose of rugged within there. And each one of you guys has some component of that to you as well. If you want to know what your primary archetype is, go take this quiz.